we are learning relations and functions in mathematics and so far we have already discussed ordered pair and Cartesian product uh, between two sets and uh, now we're going to introduce a new topic uh, that is relationship or simply you can say relation in mathematics this relation uh, we need very nicely while we will be learning uh, function in further chapters all right you might be wondering relation in mathematics and I will say yes relation in mathematics and even I will surprise you that this relationship is exactly like the day-to-day -day relationship in our daily life all right um, let's say for a while I have a family all right let's say I have a family this is my imaginary family all right let's say this is my family for a while and uh, I'm going to make two group all right group A and group B right group A contains the name uh, of husband and group B contains the name of wife all right fine happy <laughs> okay so in the first group uh, I'm going to write the members let's say father all right and then grandfather and then brother and okay that that's it and this is one group of husbands and I'm going to make a group of wife now uh, dad so definitely there should be mother grandfather then there should be grandmother also and brother then there should be sister-in-law and uh, my sister uh, but my sister is unmarried yet and do you know my friend my grandfather is married with two women so he has two wives and I have two granny <laughs> alright so grandmother one and grandmother two let's say granny two alright so I have here two groups one is for husband another is for uh, wives and now I'm going to make a relationship between the group A and group B and the name of the relationship I'm giving R and it is in a such a way that uh, in, a, in a pair actually I'll make a pair I'll make couple I'll choose some couple here in such a way that uh, X is husband of of Y okay where X is from first group and Y is from second group all right so how many such pairs I can find out let me check it up father yes uh, father is the husband of mother grandfather is the husband of grandmother but this grandfather is married with two granny <laughs> okay and brother is married with 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 with, with sister-in-law so this is relation in mathematics also my dear friend and in, in mathematics even we say like uh, the, the element of this first group you know we say this as a domain all right keep in mind these are called domain and uh, the group second group in which relationship has been built up this is called codomain and in codomain if you see there are few members or maybe all are in relationship with the domain members of domain right like mother got in relationship with father grandmother got relationship with grandfather sister-in-law got in relationship with this I mean sister is left here so those who are in relation like mother grandmother one sister-in-law and granny two so these uh, these members of codomain which are in relationship with the members of domain are called range all right so range may be all codomain or maybe few members of codomain so uh, from here easily I can say that range is a subset R range is a subset of codomain keep this name in your mind properly the first group is called domain from where relationship starts and where relationship end up that's called codomain and the few members which are in relationship with the domain members are called range okay and now let's talk about the representation of relationship in mathematics uh, generally we follow three method first one is arrow diagram method arrow diagram method which is just uh, here arrow diagram method sometimes we share balloon method also just like this we did you know swing with arrow which uh, who, who, which member is related with which one this is called arrow diagram method second one is called set builder method which is here you know we represented a relation from uh, set A to B you know uh, like this as it is written here and the third one is a roster method let me show you by the roster method roster method is just giving us a, a, a set you know uh, so R is a set of this relation mm, and uh, we know that father and mother so fa and ma I'm writing in short right so father and mother for a short uh, similarly grandpa in short I'm writing right I'm not writing grandfather grandpa is related with granny one similarly grandpa is related with granny two and similarly brother is related with, with sister-in-law right so this is our our relationship you know and in this way if you are representing our relations and that's called roster method right so arrow diagram method which is here set builder method uh, which is here this one and uh, the roster method which is here 
and you know my dear friend uh, just I remember we have already learned the other pair and Cartesian product so we can understand the relation in the Cartesian product uh, way also so friends see here we have a relationship for a while I'm just going to remove this then what you're going to get here just tell me yes you're just getting some other pair you know other pair means it's reminding me always the Cartesian product so if you see in the in the set A there are three members and in set B one two three four five there are five members alright so total uh, Cartesian product of A cross B will be having three into five that is 15 members and those 15 members will be some somehow like this let me show you like father mother and then father and granny granny too it, it's a it's a Cartesian, pro Cartesian product it's not a relationship alright and so on like this you know and uh, at last you'll get like brother uh, granny too so there will be 15 such members alright and if you see this relationship father mother grandpa granny one granny grandpa granny two brother sister these these one two three four these four members will be here also I mean to say a cross B will be having all those members which are here alright so all the members of this relationship will be inside this A cross B alright so relationship is inside the A cross B I'm going to say relationship is yes the subset of Cartesian product of those two set that is what I was trying to inform you alright I'm just trying to deliver that relationship is a special subset of Cartesian product of those two set so in definition in short we can say a relation is subset of Cartesian product of two non-empty sets so simply a relation is a subset relation is a subset of Cartesian product of two non-empty sets so two non-empty set here we have the set A and set B and there are so many uh, members in Cartesian product A to B there are 15 members just we can find out by multiplying the total uh, numbers uh, from set A and set B alright like here we have 3 here we have 5 so 3 into 5 15 members there are and those 15 members from those 15 members we can create so many subsets and those subsets will give us the different different type of the relation depending on the definition of the relation alright how we are defining so however we are defining those all members in those any relation that we are going to create according to our definition will be from A cross B only so every member of the relation is inside the A cross B that's what I want to say alright so simply one more time let me revise you a relation is a subset of a Cartesian product of two non-empty set and uh, the first set is called domain second set is called codomain where relationship is built up and those uh, members of codomain which are in relationship are called range and sometimes we say these are uh, range as image also right this is also called image all right and we can read like uh, we can read like this mother is the image of father grandmother is the uh, image of grandfather similarly sister-in-law is the image of brother like that you know so this is how uh, relationship is and we're going to learn further more a lot about relationship and you're going to get more and more concept of relationship i hope you understand this and if there is any more confusion any doubt about this relation then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely get back to you and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button to this video Bye bye